Here's our update for Friday, August 14th down here at Buoy 10. The bite today was quite a bit better than yesterday, at least for me. Uh, we got onto a bunch of schnook right at uh, the bottom end of the tide. And really, honestly, what was kind of interesting about today was that the, the schnook and the coho were both biting during the outgoing tide better than the incoming. And typically during the incoming tide is where we find a lot of new fish, a lot of fresh fish and willing biters well today from about the two three hours before ebb and right at low slack we actually had a pretty good bite and during the incoming it really never materialized nothing really happened that was all that exciting a fish here fish there but it wasn't until the top of the tide up around the bridge that we started seeing some fish caught again on the wash side. So if you're coming out here this weekend, uh, the tides are setting up in such a way that if you decide to start at O dark 30, super early, right at first light, over on the Oregon or Washington side above the bridge, that could be pretty good right towards the high slack as it turns. So uh, if you are coming out this weekend, make sure you look at your tide table, start at O dark 30, the first bit of light that you can safely get out there, that could be a pretty good bite above the bridge on either side of the river. Um, if you're planning on getting a little bit later start, definitely fish below the bridge from Hammond on down, from the church hole on down. I heard that there was a good bite over at the church during low slack today, so that's great to hear that the fish is starting to pile up in there. For us today, man, I'll tell you what, the red and white spinner, not the Coast Guard, but the all white blade with the red dot in the middle really got bit a lot. Uh, that was my best spinner. I really couldn't get any other spinners to go. Bait, of course, was getting hit again, and my chartreuse with pink flashers were starting to get bit again with regularity once again, finally. That was good to see those starting to get ripped. But uh, the blue flasher consistently catches two, three fish a day, so it's hard for me to take that one off, off the back corner. And we got a lot of really nice fish today, too. We got a 25 and a 28. Just some beautiful schnook being caught out here right now. And, hey, after a long day yesterday, I'll take what happened today. We ended up being just a couple of fish short of our limit. We got a handful of coho, all of our Chinook, but still just a fish or two short of our complete boat limit. But all in all, great day, and I'm really looking forward to tomorrow, especially after getting those studs that we got today. All right, give me any questions, uh, or if you got any questions, put them down in the comments, and I'll do what I can to help. Later.